Embodiment, the sensation of inhabiting and controlling a virtual body, often an avatar within the virtual environment. While we're constantly trying to emulate our worlds with visuals, the sense of touch is one of the major ways we perceive it, we explore it, and we remember it. I tried many different ways to actually get to this sensation with suits and gloves that will actually also make you feel the pain, but while super cool and giving the idea of making you live a real Ready Player One immersion, they always fall short when it comes to interaction in games, as every single VR game is based on controllers, and unfortunately very few of them aren't. But these, these are the contact glove too from DiverX. A pair of VR gloves that combines the idea of having the immersion of VR gloves so popular on movies, and of course in our mind, but this time with the ease of use of a VR controller. So with full finger tracking, buttons, sticks to even move and even haptic motors. Hey Terry here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. I review different VR gloves in the past, but they all failed to reach the consumer needs. A plug and play, reliable and not too expensive solution. So can the DiverX actually deliver this finally? Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to bore you with the big unboxing, as the gloves apparently arrived after the customs inspection completely assembled and ready to go in the box. I'm not sure if the police station did that or the factory, but yeah, I want to say thanks. Anyway, what you might receive are different boxes with different pieces, all to put together as the gloves are actually made of three different pieces. The gloves themselves, the tracking adapter to use with your headsets, and the so-called Magnetra to, to give you full control of your games with buttons, triggers, and of course, thumbstick. In that area, I also found a dongle, I assume to connect them to your PC, and other two adapters if you wanted to use it with the Steam VR tracking. And of course, the screw that you will need for the assembly. Because what's particular here that these gloves don't have any internal 60 OF tracking. You can use Steam VR trackers if you want, these are the ET ones, or as you can see from what I have over here, what's new here and the reason why we're checking it out is because you can actually now use your Quest 3, Quest Pro controllers, even Quest 3S controllers to actually track the gloves themselves, saving you some money in the process and making it a less convoluted setup. This will come in with their own adapter and they will give you the positional tracking that you need. Nice. Back to the gloves, those, these are made in sporting materials, very comfortable, light and breathable, and yet supported, as you don't feel the tracker of the haptics part wiggling around. And this will get the position of your finger thanks to the already installed flex sensors in there. You can actually see the results in the monitor over there. My hands are moving. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> By the way, you can remove all the sensors if you want to wash the gloves, because these are wearable, so that might need to be done once in a while. And they have all the instructions on the website to follow, so very good. The gloves will come in different sizes, of course, depending on the size of your hands directly. Small, medium, and large. I went for large, for example. And another particular thing that you may notice is that the fingertips are naked. So you can actually interact with uh, your keyboard, no problem, with your phone without any problem, because there's nothing in between. They also have integrated battery and haptic motors in the back. At the beginning, I thought it was a bad idea to actually have the haptic motor just on the back of your palm, uh, but actually it's very, very effective as your entire hand buzzes when you have interaction with things. About the Magnetor 2 though, these are a pair of controllers that slide directly in your hands to interact with the games. And I think that this is a killer feature of these gloves because as we said, many games are made for controllers and not for gloves. So when you use those gloves, interaction starts to be very weird. With this instead, you have the natural bit of the controllers in the natural bit of VR gloves at the same time. They have triggers, they're very welcome in shooters. By the way, I asked them if it was possible to make the trigger a bit longer because their idea for social VR is that the trigger never have to get in the way, uh, but it wasn't very ideal for shooters to actually shoot as it wasn't the right way. Uh, so they made me 3D print something that they made on the fly. And it's amazing how this little thing can make an actual difference. Uh, now, uh, they're not gonna provide it right away, but if enough people like it, might consider. So let's leave a like if we want it. 
that, that is a slimy YouTube way, right? But yeah, going back, they also have AB buttons on both of them. Uh, we have the thumbstick, of course, to move around. We have a system button to open Steam VR, and also these two buttons over here that work uh, to emulate the trackpad. And the cool thing about all of these that are all customizable in the software directly. Um, and by the way, if you notice, there's no grip button uh, because yeah, you have clothes for it. You just grip things and you'll grip them in game. The Magnetar 2 connects to the gloves with a little uh, mini jack cable that never gets in the way. And you have two end screws to actually adjust the fit. So you can move them out of the way if you don't need them and you just want to use the gloves or the perk of the gloves themselves to, you know, grab things in reality while even playing game. Or you want to have, you know, your hands available. Because that's a cool thing about using the gloves. You don't have anything in your hands while playing a game. And that means that you can just reach out and grab things. So, you know, readjust the headset. Use your keyboard and mouse, all completely natural with the perk compared to unusual and tracking to have a continuous positional tracking without having your hands disappear. And in this case, also the ability to interact with the game, like if you add controllers, because you have them as well. So a win-win scenario, but with a bit of trade-off and we have to be aware of it. This worked absolutely fantastic in social VR as everything is usually set up in a way to use your hands and not move as much. With full hand tracking, you can communicate even with your hands, with gestures. But by the way, this might not be as precise as the optical tracking on the Quest or the Loop Motion 2, but these are miles above what you can do with the Index Controller, for example. As they also have fingers play available. The other hand though, the tracking with optical tracking actually limited. Uh, so if you move your hand out of a camera, they're not gonna be able to recognize the movement of your hands. Instead with the gloves, that will happen continuously. It doesn't matter where your hand actually sits, uh, it's gonna you know, show the gestures that you're actually doing the entire time because they don't rely on camera, they rely on their sensors. Of course, this works even better with SteamVR trackers or with the Quest Pro controllers and they're gonna be able to track even the position of the hands in every single way uh, without any occlusion. Playing games like Alex was actually very cool as I felt I was really wearing the Russell's gravity gloves for once, making the gravity grab even more immersive. At the beginning, when my Oli gripes that I couldn't find the perfect position for the trigger, but then this 3D printer thing saved the day. Please DiverX, make it available. <laughs> the only thing about the grip, I found it not to be as reliable as a button grip, but that might be for the finger tracking quality itself. And for example, I don't know if you ever played Alex, but healing in the healing station was incredible thanks to the haptics on the back of your hand, like in the game. Also grabbing objects like in a natural way just feels more natural. You can of course adjust the sensitivity of the gloves in the software directly. And I have to say that the software itself is a big surprise over here. I'm not exaggerating. I think that is the best third party software for VR that I ever, ever seen in my life. It just works perfectly. I never had even a single hiccup. When I turn on the gloves, those show up over there. And for a person that tried pretty much everything in the VR ecosystem, this was a first timer for me. Sometimes even the first party applications don't work that well, like Meganex and Pimax. <laughs> So yeah, so kudos to them. They did an amazing job over here. Also, you can clearly see that they use VR because all the menus are easily accessible, even when you are in VR directly and you're trying to interact with the triggers to get to different options. So I can't really praise them enough for it. Great job, DiverX. Also, you can set the controllers as you want. If you use the Quest Pro controllers, they have already a configuration made for it. If you use different trackers that are like not the one that they have in the list, you can just set the position in space, you freeze the controller, you uh, grab it in the virtual world, and then uh, you have the position as you try to make it uh, with also little adjustments available. Super cool, super useful, super easy to use. But yeah, what about real use? What about games? What about experiences? I have to say that personally, I was impressed from how much I actually enjoy them. I used different gloves in the past, but never with the ability to actually play every single game uh, available in every single situation, uh, thanks to the included controllers. And not having controllers in your hands really felt refreshing too. Yes, of course, the controller is still there and they protrude a bit in the back, but I never found it to be a problem with interaction. Uh, you can even 
clap your hands and do things that usually you cannot do with regular controllers or reach for your phone in your pockets. Everything is possible because, you know, you don't have anything in the way. The big word that everyone wants to use when talking about VR, did they enhance immersion? And I will say so. In many instances, it actually felt more natural, more integrated, more like an embodiment. Not perfect in some other instances, but it just felt right. Do I miss the controllers? It's weird, but I will not say so, as I actually have controllers over here. The idea to integrate VR gloves and controllers seems to be a winning one. Um, of course, it's not gonna be always perfect, also for the positioning of the controllers and stuff like that. Maybe in the future will be handled in a different way, but yeah. I really enjoyed this way so far. But if I have to put some pros and cons, of course, on this glove with the Magnetra controllers as well, I will say that they are comfy and adaptable. Uh, they're light and breathable. Uh, they have a great software, actually one of the best I ever tried, and they enable an end-free experience. So if you wanna grab something or use your hands for something else, you actually can. Cons, I will say that Magnetra position might not be the best sometimes. That's why I need an extension for the trigger, for example. And the thumbsticks can be a bit slippery. I wish there was some silicone on them. Of course, they're VR gloves, so you have to wear something, and it's extremely odd today. And the finger striking quality actually needs some improvements. Uh, I went through the calibrations many times, but you know, sometimes it's not perfect. It can improve, maybe using AI or something like that. Overall though, these are the diverse contact gloves too. They're available for $599 in the full package with the Magnetra 2. They also have the adapters for the ultimate tracking, up to trackings, everything. Hey, editing wood over here. Uh, they just offer actually a 5% discount uh, with the code tire wood. Uh, you're gonna find it in the description below if you don't know how to spell it, so we all can learn together. And um, about that, they also have free worldwide shipping, so everywhere in the world, uh, even if it comes from Japan. So that's pretty good. So if you wanna upgrade your quest uh, with uh, gloves, well, now you can. Let's go back. So far though, what do you think about this? Do you think VR gloves are still a good idea or something that is from the past? Are we finally able to leave the real Ready Player One experience yet? And do you think that controllers and gloves at the same time are actually the winning combo. To be honest, personally, these are probably one of my favorite VR accessories I ever tried, probably also because they just worked every single time that I tried to use it, and that makes a big, big difference. If you are looking for actual VR gloves in the market, I can do anything else that actually recommend it. Hopefully they can improve the finger striking just a bit, or maybe I just have to learn how to calibrate it correctly. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like this, just dislike. If you love the channel, the join button down there, little and further also the Patreon. Thanks to the Patreons on the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.